Hi guys, I hope you are having a great week. It is Ash and Wolf here. I do want to start this video out where we will be talking about the issues in the dating world and the industry since the 20 era, but also starting from 2000s, the direction that we have been going in in this new millennia. Before we get into all of the details, I want to reaffirm my attention with my community and any new people watching these videos. I'm going to give you the advice that daddy never gave you. I'm going to give you the advice that mommy never gave you. I'm going to give you the advice that your closest friends never gave you and meet your needs and help you out in your life in ways that you need and are suffering with the lack thereof because the humans in your life are currently not playing those roles in these way. Are you able to see things the way that I'm seeing things because recently in my own life, I had been so blessed to get my needs met in a number of different ways by friends, by my brother, by the different professionals I hire such as completion process practitioners which I myself am. The different advice that they have given me has been so so valuable and I'm like you know it hits me and I'm like <sighs> Oh, you know, that, that's been missing and you just gave it to me and you just played this role for me. The issues in the dating, I'm just gonna call it an industry since the new millennia has hit. I'm gonna start with the big elephant in the room and I hope that everybody has encountered that this is a thing. People are going on dates, throwing their damn clothes off in a hot five minutes. Is that not a problem for anybody? It is if you just wanna get laid, but this is, by opinion, a change that has gotten out of hand. We went from chivalry and courting a woman and maybe not even kissing on the first date to, hey, honey, let's get kinky real fast, you know? And this is both on the woman's side of things and the men's side of things, you know? I've known men that have been like, yeah, you know, and... She just took her clothes off and she told me how it's gonna go. <laughs> so, you know, it's not a man or a woman thing. It's happening on both sides where women are like, and men are giving themselves too quickly to each other on a sexual level. And the reason that this is problematic is because we are taking the sacredness out of sexuality and we are taking the sacredness of the courting experience away. Our sexual energies are something they are deeply um, susceptible to influence, absorb a lot of energies. So for instance, if you have sex with someone, you are literally having sex with not only all of their trauma and their energies and their issues, but you're also having sex with the sexual energies left behind of every other partner they've ever done anything with. I think that it is just not a healthy way of going about things. I think that it really gives mixed signals on what you're looking for, dirties the dating experience, and it starts to make dating feel like it's all about physicality and our bodies and getting laid and it really takes away the genuine human connection. I personally value um, at this point in my life, I am like constantly having all these people dip into that pool that I really want to save for my partner. I think that it is so important that we stop jumping the gun and every Everybody can decide what their personal initiative is. If you do want to have all of these fun, sexy, sexy experiences with people, go for it. But I really think in terms of creating healthy relationships, it's important to slow things down. You get to decide what that personally means for you. I know people that are like, I do not have sex with people until I'm in a relationship with them. I'm one of those people, by the way. I don't go this far with people that I'm not in a relationship with. I have this kind of timeline around how far things are okay to progress and it doesn't always have to be communicated as long as you make it clear 
that that's the space that you're in and you're mature enough and secure enough and connected to your boundaries enough that if somebody jumps the gun too soon on you, you can be like, hey, listen, this is just not my thing. I need to take it slower than that. So the next order of events when it comes to problems, the dating world, this millennia, one of these topics that we're about to highly get into, I'm giving a new perspective on, but I have dived into it quite a bit. A video of mine called Male Containment linked in the description below. One of the major issues is the reversal of roles between men and women and simply men not wanting to play the role of the divine masculine. What this means is this. First of all, so thankful that we have gone so far away from the 1950s housewife that women have more power. There's no sense of ownership or secondary nature to men in the part of the world I'm living in anyways. I have people communicating with me that live in other parts of the world and women are very much still property there and it is a very toxic environment for women to live in. There's many countries around the world today that are still like this. For the sake of the kind of areas of the globe that I can relate to the most and that I want to touch on, there is a huge reversal of roles. So men are being told that in this moving away from owning a woman and being like, I'm above you and you have no right and the whole 1950s housewife situation, they are being communicated by the media, by the collective social system and cultures today. They should not do that with their women, but they shouldn't even step into a role of masculine containment with their women. It is natural for feminine and masculine energy to move in a certain energetic way. I'll give you an example. Women are the receiver, men are the leaders. Women are the yin or the negative bar energy. This doesn't mean we're toxic. And men are the positive energy. Women are the moon, men are the sun. In sexuality, men give and women receive. This is biologically programmed into us for big reasons because it is about filling in different roles so that we can interact with each other. We can have one experience from coming from one side of the role and they can have one experience of coming from the other side of the role. At the end of the day, all have our needs met, but we also have unique qualities. So there is relational experiences needed for every human. And whether you're a man or a woman, there are actually different roles that will be biologically natural to you, that will make you feel good, that will make you your most expanded sense of self. And some of those things when it comes to the interaction with men and women is this, um, when it comes to dating specifically. So for instance, men these days are expecting women to lead and women to chase them, come after them and woo them. One of a major example of this is there's this new dating app called Bumble and it is the manifestation of this problem in this millennia with men and women where the woman is supposed to be the one that messages first and it's set up to very much make it, you go on there and it's very much a lot of men not in their masculinity at all expecting women to chase them and pursue them as if they're the woman. That's not the natural biological flow or energetic flow of a woman receiving and a man giving. And just because the man is the one making the first move, he's being received by the woman and the woman is in turn through that receiving of she is giving in a different way it's always the woman moving forward a certain way the man moving forward in a certain way that giving and receiving there is a level to giving that is receiving and there's a level to receiving that is giving so it's just the way that we are going about it so I'm going to give you some examples so to be in your masculine energy definitely you're the one pursuing the woman at first you're the one putting in more interest and if she gets that interest someone in their femininity that's interested in you is going to put that same energy back they're not playing games with you either and you shouldn't have to feel like you're chasing them either but you should feel like you're with the one pursuing them first it should always feel like you are the one constantly putting the energy in to pursue them and continue to court them another example of healthy male leadership in relationship situations and dating experiences is 
is a man being like, hey, where can I take you? Do you want to do this or do you want to do this? He's giving the woman options, but he's also leading, creating suggestions and containing her in like, I'm going to take you. We're going to go out on this date. We're going to go, you know, to like your favorite tea place or whatever it is. Just tell me, you know, when do you want to meet up? When do you have time? I'm going to make the time for you. Like that is male containment at its finest and I must say as a woman it is so damn sexy and it is such a turn on. There is a huge reversal of roles in the dating world and in relationships today where men are frankly expecting women to play the role of the man and women are in their masculine energy and they're going in in major masculinity. You know this whole like I'm a woman, I'm independent, I'm working the nine to five, I can take care of myself, honey. Like that's fine and we need all of those things. You are trying so hard to not rely or need on a man that you can't let him do basic male containment things and you're actually coming off too much as like in your man energy with him, which actually in turn makes him go into his little boy energy. So this can also show up men not wanting to to pay the tab like obviously it shouldn't be all about the money but it is a male containment action to pay for the date you know and you don't have to take your lady anywhere expensive either but if a woman is paying for both of you guys or if a woman is even just paying for herself it sets this kind of like it's putting the woman more in her masculine energy and the man more in his feminine energy or his little boy energy and please don't judge me on my opinion of these roles when it comes to financial systems with men and women because it's not like I don't think that women shouldn't or can't have jobs or pay for themselves or be independent. I am very much into that, but I think that there is certain areas and equalizers of energy. I'll give you an example. Like with my last partner, it's like, yeah, I was like, I was paying my like way. I was buying him stuff. He was buying me stuff. I was taking care of myself in the situations we were in. We would, you know, sometimes I would cook him food sometimes I would order him in food but if we went out on a date to like a cafe or something it's like I really did expect him to pay the tab because I wouldn't feel like a woman if he didn't there's actually like a sense of rejection that comes up within a woman when that doesn't happen on the man's side of things if you're not doing things like letting the woman walk first opening the door for her holding her hand making sure she's okay per protecting her, leading her, guiding her, holding her in your energy that you've got her, being chivalrous, not putting pressure on her sexually, things like this. If you're not doing these things, then you are more either in your toxic man masculinity, your little boy energy, your feminine energy, and it honestly, it doesn't feel good to the masculine because whether you're in your masculinity or not, it is very important for your own sense of masculinity your own sense of well-being and it will feel like relief when you start doing these things so again I really ask that you guys keep an open mind and to affirm more about why I'm saying this about the roles between men and women I go into it way more in depth in my video on male containment so that is something that I recommend checking out I hope that you enjoyed this video on the common problems of the dating industry. I will say that I am going to have another video um, that is going to focus on the major issues when it comes to dating. That is going to take place in the next video for next week and I am going to focus more on men for this one and the issues that they're having but I'm gonna help uh, both genders understand this. We're going to talk about how to have less toxic dating experiences. Again, another video that you can check out on these topics, what men and women need to know about each other, and also sexual healing for women is another good one on all of these topics. I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day. Burning with desire as he runs the race.